it's working. It's working. It's working. Okay. It's working. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to discuss some thoughts I have around how productivity works and I want to mix things up with talking about how you can balance productivity and not fall into the extremes. And I want to do that by talking about Ali Abdal. And as this video is going to be about speed consumption, I'll have timestamps for everything in the description down below. So let's jump into the video. Alright, so let's talk about Ali Abdal. For those of you who do not know who he is, the guy is essentially a doctor working in Cambridge and he's also a YouTuber, blogger, podcaster, what else? Uh, he has a company as well. As far as I know, he started his YouTube career by producing uh, educational content, essentially teaching people how to learn. And slowly and gradually, he got himself into the YouTube metagame from scratch using hard work, using dedication, using accuracy and also using speed. And while this might seem like a fanboy type of video, it is really not. And the reason he created like a large spike in the YouTube metagame is not because of his ability to juggle multiple balls at the same time. Like again, creating high quality content 3-4 times per week and uh, being a blogger, a podcaster, owning a company and also being a doctor. But also thanks to his transparency doing his live streams and interviews and so on. And sometimes I think that the guy is a superhuman. I mean, by looking at the way he's producing content once again, combining aesthetics with, with accuracy and research, it's truly an inspiration. Okay, so now that I'm done with the fanboy thing, I'm going to jump into the content consumption thing. Alright, so while people are generally enthusiastic about Ali's content and methods, in the past few weeks he produced a few videos that are related to the speed of his content consumption. For example, you can oftentimes hear him talk about the way he listens to audiobooks by doubling the speed of narration. And as a matter of fact, he created a full video on this as well called One Simple Habit That Changed My Life. And overall, the value that I've derived from the increase in content, just being able to consume more stuff, has been so much greater than the value I would have derived from listening to half as much stuff, but at 1x speed or maybe slightly higher than 1x speed. Now, throughout his videos, you'll often hear him talk about why you should improve your typing speed when using a computer and also learn keyboard shortcuts. Now, this is one of his things, right? He kind of sounds like he's preaching something. And by looking through the comment section for the past videos that are related again to the speed of his content consumption and also the why behind listening to podcasts at 10x speed or watching a YouTube tutorial at 100x speed, I generally saw a barrier and disagreement. You have the camp filled with people who are not agreeing with the methods like speed listening or speed reading and then you have the camp of productivity grease monkeys who are cheering up every time Ali releases a new video. And as a matter of fact, in one of his latest videos that is called How I Watch TV Productively, the like to dislike ratio is pretty bad as I'm currently making this video. And again, we have both camps in there as well. We have people saying like, I actually disagree with you on this one, being productive is being productive, having fun is having fun. And then we have people quoting Einstein who was kind of living a regular life, and he was not very fond of the extremes, so they say. Then adding Tesla into the equation, who was famous for sleeping something like 3-5 to five hours per night. And now I want to express my thoughts on content consumption and also about the speed on which you consume content in general, like books, audiobooks, movies, uh, TV series and so on. Alright, so Ali is essentially looking at productive ways to do things, right? We can all agree on that. That is a oversimplified version of what he's trying to convey. But one thing we must consider is that he is not trying to push that in our lives. He's simply expressing what oftentimes people are asking for through questions like how can I be more productive? Now, about one of his latest videos where he's explaining how he watches TV productively using a Chrome add-on to increase speed, the first thing I want to say is that he's not actually talking about real TV, like the conventional TV filled with the news and late night shows and stuff, but more about watching TV series, right? I believe that he should have titled the video like how to watch Netflix productively or something along those lines. So again, in this video, he is explaining how he started watching the series called Hunter x Hunter while also using a Chrome add-on to frequently increase the speed of the episode. And so what I'm pressing is I'm pressing D to speed up the video by 0.2 times each time. And I'm just pressing D, 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 D quite a lot. And I'm pressing S to slow it down when it gets to an interesting point. And then if it gets to like a really interesting point and I need to reset it, I just press the R button. 
So, at the moment, this is really fast. And then I press R. And then it goes back to normal. And that's like really cool. And then people jumped in the comment section saying that again, this is not a healthy habit, that he should stop and smell the roses. And I sort of want to digress just a bit. And I want to sort of ask you to ask yourself, who is maintaining the roses? Well, people started a huge war in the comment section, essentially outlining why speed watching TV is a bad for your, for your health, for your mental well-being and so on. And that productivity is productivity and essentially uh, relaxation is relaxation, right? So the general view is that we should aim for that balance. But my view is that this is not only about being productive. And as I see it, Ali wants to absorb information and uh, knowledge and also have fun while doing it, right? So you can see from the video that he's pretty excited about this, uh, this, this method he found, right? And this again goes for audiobooks and YouTube videos and podcasts and so on. And of course I do agree with the people who are saying that you should aim for a balanced life. But what we must not forget is that we are all different. What works for me might not work for you. I oftentimes I'm guilty of skipping parts of movies. And the reason I'm doing that is kind of contrary and I believe that the movies we are seeing right now, the, the movies that are being released, like their quality has a sort of hit a plateau. And also our expectations have increased. And we are pretty much adjusted with the storyline and the plot. And you know, even the characters. And most of the times we care about only getting to that drop, to that end point. And for most of the videos out there, we again subconsciously know the plot. Even though we cannot remember in which movie we saw a particular scene. And the truth is that we have quite a lot of instances when we are saying, I've seen that before. Like when a friend is showing you a meme or a quote or recommending a movie or a book. This is why people are adding timestamps in the videos and this is why we are reading book summaries and also uh, ingesting small quotes. It's, it's all about compression, it's all about fast learning, it's all about keeping up with the digital Joneses, so to speak. And we can of course debate the role of technology and social media in all of this. Essentially hijacking our brains to desire more instant gratification type of thing. But the world is accelerating and we as individuals have learned how to filter the unimportant. So if I'm speed reading through an article online or reading a book at double x speed, the reason I'm doing that is not only because I want to be productive, but also because I subconsciously know that I've read that before. In fact, Alex Becker, another YouTuber, has a video called Books are Slow and Stupid do this instead. And he's making a point on why most books on business are almost exactly the same. And why you should go and listen to CEO interviews instead on YouTube. So I'll, I'll provide a link in the description for that. But this is to some degree true. I mean, most business books are recycling the same content over and over again. And uh, you know, wrapping it up in different layers and posting and serving the book once again to market. I believe that this is true for movies as well and for online articles and YouTube videos as well. And sometimes we are all guilty of doing that uh, as well. So don't feel bad. But I think that if someone is able to recognize that about himself, uh, sort of like recognizing his true power, I think that that particular someone has the right to increase the speed of his consumption and also change the outlet of the consumption factory, so to speak. But that is because that someone is operating on a different level. And it's all cool, again, we are not all at the same level and we do not need to be the same, I mean, without diversity there would be no scarcity. Don't quote me on that. And I'm sure that a particular someone who is uh, operating on a speedy level will notice something that, you know, catches his attention, that particular someone will stop and enjoy that particular rose. But what we must understand is that, again, the person is operating on a new level and that new level might be his new default. So he's not able to go back and just consume content at the same speed. And going back to Ali Abdal, I believe that the reason why he's using speed consumption is because he spends his days most of the time in front of the computer and on the internet as well. So he's pretty much well adjusted with the content out there, with the memes and with, you know, productivity stuff. And he developed this filtering system where his mind is primed to come on, let's speed things up as I already know this stuff. And again, most people in the comments section are against this, which is okay, but I believe that there's more complexity to it. 
and there's no binary way of looking at it as well. And there's one more thing I found relevant by watching his video on why video games are good for you. And talk a little bit about the enjoyment people get from these games as well and compare it with the topic of speed consumption. So if you take an example where you are playing a game like World of Warcraft Classic, where more than 50% of the time you are running from one point to another or ideally flying, sure I agree that if you just started playing the game you can use the time to enjoy the content, to explore the forests and the cabins and the lakes and the music, but if you already play the game and you know most of the content and the story, you are now actually aiming for high utility in terms of gameplay and trying to be better by min-maxing how you do stuff and finding new tactics and strategies you can use to make the boring parts which you already explored more enjoyable. And this is human progress, I mean our brains are adaptable and they want to find faster ways of doing things. And if this type of progress is uh, leading us to the right direction, I'm not sure, I mean this is a topic for another video, but ideally we should not hate on people who are trying to speed things up. Again I believe that Ali is really excited about this new way of consuming content. Which is cool, I mean we don't have to be the same. And don't hate on the guy. And I want to finish up the video with a quote I have. Progress appears to be caused, at least simply, by an attitude of progress. Of people competing to be innovative and of simply looking at age-old things and going, but why do we do it that way?